Alright guys, well I kind of have to apologize, I didn't uh, didn't actually film taking the muffler off the 817 here. As you can see I got it off, and the bolts actually came out really easy on uh, both sides. I had one that was just a little, a little tough to come out, and it was actually this one right here on the right side for this back, but uh, everything came out, I'll have to... Uh, um, blah, 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 off to clean the uh, mating surfaces off here, but I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not. But this one is actually threaded, threaded too, so you could put, uh, I believe, what is like one inch water pipe or something on it. But here's old versus new here. Hopefully, I can I can get back far enough. But uh, problems with the old muffler, basically, we're on this. This side here, as you can see it. Hopefully the camera is focusing on that. But it had some cracks going on there where the white is, and right there around that uh, that run. I wonder if somebody had tried to weld this at one point in time, but uh, that was a thought I had. I tried taking this uh, uh, the 45 off in a little piece of pipe, but it's so tight you end up breaking the pipe and getting off. So. Uh, I'll save that because it still is usable. Maybe I will weld it up. Um, so for now, I'm going to see if I can find some new bolts for this. Um, I'm going to get my manifold gaskets or in that drawer sticking out right there. And uh, I'll clean up the exhaust uh, exhaust manifold mating surfaces. And uh, I'll put this on and see. This always had like a weird... It sounded like an exhaust leak to it. I don't know if the camera picked up on it, but... It always had it, and uh, in other news, the first reason I pulled it back in the shop was I p had to put that uh, that little clip in the carb that I said I couldn't use that day. It actually goes on the float on the back side, and uh, hopefully that will keep the needle from sticking shut, is what I was having trouble with today while I was running it. Uh, I wasn't getting any fuel, and when I took the carb apart, there was hardly any fuel in it, so I, I think that was my issue, and... Uh, well, you'll see if that fixes it, so uh, hold on a minute here, guys. We'll show you running. Alright, guys, so hopefully you can see here, I got the, got the new muffler on. I found uh, four. All I had was grade two bolts, so uh, we'll, we'll rock those for now until I pick up some grade, five, grade five for stock. So uh, I'll throw you guys on the tripod here. And I'll let you listen to what it sounds like. I have not started this yet.
to hear it so you guys can see that. And uh, we'll see what it's running like then. for a little dusk joyride. Hopefully you guys can see the sun is just going down. The camera will focus on it. It's about 8 o'clock at night. But it sounds awesome now. It sounds like a big block. <laughs> okay, one back. the tree okay might have tightened the forward clutch up just a little bit more seems like I have my car problem fixed too the headlights help us a little bit Might actually be a little rich now, I might have to turn it in a quarter. Drop it down, we're at an idle. I'll throw the PTO in. Seems to respond to the load okay. Seems awesome. So I'll have to run it a little bit and tighten the exhaust bolts and uh, you know we'll go from there. I've seen where uh, everybody else is painting them and the paint has uh, has burned off it so I may just leave mine bare steel. Uh, I'm unsure so. Alright guys. Thanks everybody for watching. Me and the 817 project. To find something to mow. What can I mow? I don't know. Later, guys. That big block owning firm. Ooh, baby. Okay, we're going to try this now that I have the extension piece on the end of the muffler. Got rid of that, uh, that big block bark, almost like a Harley that I had before, so. Alright guys! That's the 817 and the new muffler. So, thanks for watching me and the CCKA. Later, guys.